Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 20th of May, 2011. 136 years ago today, the Meter Treaty was signed, which was the beginning of the metric system. Now only three countries on the planet don't use it. Solar activity has been very low in the last 24 hours, so let's see why by looking at the sunspot regions. We still only have three numbered regions on the sun, all of which are in the southern hemisphere. 1214 is nearing the west limb and seems to be decaying. Region 1216 is a single large spot and has been stable, so I don't expect very much activity out of any of these regions. So let's quickly check their evolution by going to the Solar Dynamics Observatory HMI data. In the white light movie, in the southwest, we can see the decay of region 1214 as it approaches the west limb. In the southeast, we can see the development of region 1218. In the magnetic movie, I'd like you to concentrate on region 1214 in the southwest, which are the remnants of region 1217. You can see why it lost its spots because the magnetic field is weakening quite rapidly there. The X-ray plot from the GOES X-ray sensor is not very exciting. With no major events, and the background dropping below the B1 level for the first time for quite some time. So let's see if there have been any eruptions on the Sun. To do that we go to this SDO AIA instrument and look at the Helium 304 movie. At the beginning of the 48 hour movie we see the eruptions that we talked about yesterday. Near the end of the movie you'll see that there's another eruption very similar to the one that we had yesterday in the northeast. Let's take a look at that in more detail. Watch the prominence on the northeast limb slowly rise and then erupt which is spookily similar to what happened yesterday. Once again, that is absolutely spectacular, especially when you consider the size of the Earth is about the size of the little circle in the bottom right hand corner. You can see a hint of the same event in the coronal movie too. Did you see it? Soho coronagraphs show the remnants of yesterday's coronal mass ejections, but like the white light and coronal images, doesn't show very much sign of new activity over the last 24 hours and the larger C3 field of view does not seem to be showing any sign of comets either. From the ACE data we see that the density, speed and temperature of the solar wind has all dropped, so we wouldn't be expecting very much in the way of auroral activity. And that is indeed the case. The auroral zone is very quiet, and the KP index has been varying only between 0 and 1. So in summary then, the sunspot number has fallen to 36, the X-ray background has fallen to the A8 level, the radio sun is at 84 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has dropped to about 360 km per second with a density of about 0.5 protons per cubic centimetre, and the KP index is rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours is that C flares are still possible, the chance of M and X flares are very very low indeed, the sunspot number will remain low until we get new growth or new regions appear over the east limb. CMEs remain likely, especially as though the filament in the southeast looks as though it's about ready to lift off, as the coronal mass ejections we saw yesterday are unlikely to be geo-effective. From the composite coronal image, we can see that there are two regions due back over the east limb in the next 24 hours. Some of you may have noticed in the coronal movie that I showed earlier, there was some hint of those regions coming over the east limb. For the early birds who can get up before dawn, there's a conjunction of four planets, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury and Mars, all in the eastern sky. If you'd like more detail about what's going on on the Sun, check out some of the links I have in the description box below. For early editions of the Sun today, you can go to my channel and see them there, and I also have some videos on global warming that you might find fun to watch. NOAA and NASA have some excellent sites which are listed in the description box below too. And spaceweather.com is also a useful site for keeping up to date with what's going on right at this very moment. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.